Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Kato again with another third-party Transformers review. Today I'm going to take a look at Moon Studios MS-03 Iron Arm, and it's going to be a long one, so we're not going to waste any time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to roll the intro and get started. It's Kato! As always, the first thing I want to do is take a look at the packaging, and just like the other Moon Studios packaging, you've got the nice splash art there of uh, Iron Arm and Train and Robot Mode, MS-03 Iron Arm on the top, Iron Arm MS-03 Radiotron on the side, more toy art on the other side, Train Mode, and on the back, you've got the back, front, pants, uh, Train, and the other side of train mode with the gun plugged into the top. On the bottom, absolutely nothing. Let's see what's inside. First thing you get inside the box is the coupler. You've got the two clips there. I'll probably never use them. They're magnetic. Uh, yeah, hook the trains together. You get what seems to be maybe some fillers or replacement parts. You've got a couple of translucent little smoky pieces here that look like windows and some light gray and dark gray pieces. I'm assuming they're maybe screw fillers or caps. You get the full gun for Radiotron. It actually comes apart into a couple of pieces here. So you have a couple of small guns and they fold up like so to go on top of the train. And this is Iron Arms gun. So like we've seen before, you've got some gray paint, orange paint, and then black plastic with what looks like a clear coat kind of shimmer over it. And you get the instructions. These, these are not great. I mean, you have to do a lot of assuming in these. The instructions are pretty bad. And that leads us right to Iron Arm. And yes, oddly enough, he comes packaged in pants mode. And I always go from how it's packaged to the other modes. So this is where we're at. This is the pants of Radiotron, of Raiden. Uh, one thing to note in the instructions, the, one of the very first things the instructions tell you to do is to move a piece that, that's already moved. So this, and same thing on this side, should be up like this for pants mode, but it comes packed like that. You can see the back of the legs there, really sturdy, heavy, heavy ratchets. Uh, real quick, I want to show you what he looks like uh, partially combined. I've got one of the legs on with the pants right above it, just to give you an idea of how tall it's going to be. And on the right, you'll see a picture I took uh, and showed my channel members of him next to the Jinbao Oversized Devastator. So as it stands right now, he is about... Oof. Uh one foot oh god almost 16 inches tall without the upper part of the torso and the arms against my better judgment i am going to try to transform this guy on camera it's going to take a while be patient i'm going to go over a few steps some of it i will talk through some of it i will just do uh, and hopefully help those that uh, were struggling the way i was struggling getting this guy into his alternate mode so Let's start transforming.
Now you're going to do the same thing on this leg. I'm going to stop here because this piece right here, this piece and this piece, and it's the same on the other side, has these little hinges right here that clip in right there. You will have problems with those coming unsnapped. It's a super simple fix, but they're just not very strong. So you'll end up having to tab those back on again. And with that simple transformation, simple being the most sarcastic term I could use, you have Iron Arm in his robot mode. Now, doing this behind the camera adds 10,000% more difficulty than doing it in your lap. But it's, it's not a fun transformation. It's interesting, lots of panels, lots of tabs plenty of opportunities to make mistakes and the instructions don't help but you're left with a gorgeous looking train bot this guy looks awesome i love the dark silver the orange scatter all about the orange there on his chest it's an interesting robot because um it's it's virtually the same on the front and the back. I mean, the only way that you know this is the back, and I'm not, I'm not unconvinced that you couldn't flip this around the other way and flip the legs around and roll with him in either direction. I, I don't know. It's, it's odd, but hey, it works. But yes, lots of gray and orange highlights throughout the plastic here is orange, orange on the, uh, calves or whatever that would be the shins you've got nice plastic plenty of die cast i mean there's a all of this joint is all die cast mostly because he's going to be the torso so he needs a lot of uh, strength in those ratchets and they are strong by the way the gun plugs in like an mp um the head sculpt good lord he's tall the head sculpt looks pretty good if it'll zoom in there you've got blue eyes on a gray face with a nice flat top there looks pretty decent nothing to speak of here huge backpack but i think it does well enough i do wish that maybe it came down a bit more but I, maybe this is accurate i don't know enough about them to know for sure um i never like this being the bottom of the feet it's just I don't know, room for scratches. Uh, articulation, you've got rotation at the head. It's on a ball joint, so it'll bobble around. Shoulders, 
All right, here's a big problem I have with this figure. These little tabs right here tab right into the top of his underarm right there. And anytime you want to lift these shoulders up, odds are you're going to lift that up too. It's just not a very strong point. But uh, anyway, the arms will go uh, more than straight out there. And I feel like I have to hold here. You've got a nice squeaky friction joint there. You have rotation at the bicep. You have a double elbow bend for transformation. You've got rotation at the wrist and each finger is uh, one, two joints on each finger. Problem with these fingers, they are sturdy, but when you fold them up into the arm, a lot of times you've got to dig around in order to get them just right to fold it back out. I, I don't like that at all. That is not strong enough to hold that while you're messing around with it. Rotation at the waist. You've got, I don't, I don't sense an ab crunch in there, which I'm okay with. It's fine. Um, golly, I, this is the worst thing about this in robot mode, the shoulders. Legs. These ratchets are uh, very, very strong, but he will go all the way out. Uh, yeah, about right there. Good Lord. Rotation at the upper thigh. You've got Ah, tight ratchets towards the front and back. Good Lord, I feel like I'm going to break something. And nice ratcheted knees that'll get you a bend to there. You have a phony ankle rocker right there. It does virtually nothing other than just looking right when you pose him. But nothing here bends. Articulation is okay. Uh, biggest downfall, I don't like how these shoulders tab in. It's just... It's not great, but the end result is a pretty cool looking train bot. Speeding things right along, there he is beside Dark Knight and MP10 for a size comparison. Uh, he is about 12 inches tall to the top of his backpack, about uh, just under 11 inches to the top of his head. He's a big boy.
I don't know if you could tell through that, and I don't know if it's going to help anyone, but that transformation is obnoxious. Only because so many of those gangly parts get in the way and you basically have to explode the whole thing in order to finally get it back together. That being said, the end result is freaking awesome. I mean, that is a nice, long choo-choo train. Let me tell you, from front to back, just over 15 inches. Oh man, it's a beast. And it does end up coming together really well. You can see the front, all that orange along the side. You can see the chest there. Um, this is a little weird. Like it looks a little screwy just having the bottom of the head there. I'm sure it's got a lot to do with the fact that it combines probably where the upper chest ends up going. But the end result is great. It rolls just fine, just like the others. Uh, if I can get the wheel straight. It rolls just fine, just like the others. The... Uh, only parts that really want to come apart are, again, these gray pieces right here on those hinges. Not a fun trip, but the destination is pretty dang cool. And, of course, you can tab the weapon in, I think, right there, wherever you want. It just tabs right there. It's a big honking gun. For a quick size comparison, there he is beside, what was his name in here? Ice Storm? Ice something? Ice? It's another train bot. And just for the heck of it, there he is beside a Masterpiece scale car bot that's uh, obviously Sunstreaker. There you have my review of Moon Studios MS-03 Iron Arm. And what's to say? I mean, I, I went through a lot of it. The shoulders really bug me. The joints are super stiff. That's a problem that you only have in this robot mode because it's going to be a solution to a problem in combined mode because we, we always complain about flimsy combiners. I don't think this guy's going to be flimsy at all with how tight those joints are. Transformation in every mode is obnoxious. More so when you're doing it from behind the camera. Completely doable. Uh, hopefully, uh, I helped. I really hope I helped and didn't waste time because the instructions that come with it are pretty garbage. But it, it's not a difficult transformation. There's just so many tabs and panels and things that get in your way. Overall, though, he looks brilliant. The, like I said before, uh, the, the trip there is terrible, but the destination is absolutely wonderful in every single mode. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. And if you made it this far and haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and of course, if you'd like to help the channel out, click that join button for more information on how to become a channel member. Subscribe to the other Rejecticon, Sardo News by 82, Larkin Slayer, and Inu Tabi. And until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. It's Kato!